quick update on the uh, Dino hardware that I've been using. A lot of changes uh, specifically to deal with uh, these little super small, super light micro motors. Ran into lots of problems with the inertial load of the spindle being too high, causing the really small motors to not spin up or burn out under load. Uh, and so this is an attempt to uh, deal with those sort of problems and reduce uh, some of the vibration that we see that skews the uh, results on the tiny, tiny motors a lot more than uh, on the larger ones. The load cell is now totally rigidly mounted, had too many problems with uh, soft isolation material causing uh, a lot of non-linearity in the, the readings, especially at low values. So everything is completely hard mounted now uh, and they just soft filter the uh, results to uh, clean up any noise. A cheap lab jack's been modified to uh, act as a stage. Uh, this is only kind of half works, um, and it's a lot more useful when dealing with the large fixed spindle than when using the uh, micro setup that I'm showing here. Little stop ring is on the uh, torque arm shaft to keep it from sliding forward. I found that it actually wanted to move in and out uh, a lot more than I expected, especially with the uh, soft motor couplers. The micro spindle needed a new fiber optic pickup because it couldn't be in a fixed position. So I have this end with two fibers machined into the uh, center, and this is on a Noga arm to very easily match the uh, brake disc mounted on the motor itself. And the magnetic arm for the eddy current brake is a super simple, uh, just a skate bearing with the uh, same old arrangement as in the previous one and a cheap uh, hobby servo to drive it. The whole thing can be moved around so it's not fixed in place. It can be adjusted um, by just sliding around on the, the bed with the clamp there to hold it in place. So here's what a run looks like on the new setup. You can get a better look at the uh, brake disc there that just affixes directly to the motor. So there's no uh, having to deal with coupling and uh, vibration is much, much lower, as well as the inertial load being um, significantly lower as well. 